Welcome to Introduction to Polygons. The goals of this video are to define a polygon and then classify different types of polygons. A polygon is a plane figure made up of segments joined at the endpoints. Here we see four examples of polygons. I do want to point out that there is some disagreement about this last polygon. Some definitions state that the segments cannot intersect each other, but we'll address this issue in the next slide. The points where the sides join are called the vertices. Looking at this triangle here, two sides join at this point here. This would be a vertex. Vertex is singular for vertices. Here's a vertex and here's a vertex. And the segments are called the sides or edges of the polygon. So this triangle here has three edges or three sides. One here, one here, and one here. Here are a couple of examples of figures that are not polygons. This is not a polygon because it is not formed by line segments. This edge here is a curve. And this is not a polygon because the four edges are not joined together to form a bounded region. So sticking to the previous definition of a polygon, there are two types of polygon. A simple polygon has one bounded region where the sides do not intersect, and a complex polygon has more than one bounded region because the sides do intersect. So these two are examples of simple polygons and here's an example of a complex polygon. And this complex polygon has three bounded regions. One here, one here, and one here for a total of three bounded regions. Now let's talk about the diagonals of a polygon. The diagonals of a polygon are the line segments that connect non-adjacent vertices of a polygon. So looking at this polygon here, if we select one vertex, the diagonals from this vertex here would be all the segments connecting this vertex with any non-adjacent vertex. Well, adjacent vertices are the vertices that are next to this vertex. So this would be an adjacent vertex and so would this one. So the diagonals from this point would be this segment here, this segment here, and this segment here. If I wanted to sketch the diagonals from this vertex, I would do the same. This is not a diagonal, this would be a side. So I connect this vertex with this non-adjacent vertex, this vertex with this non-adjacent vertex, and this vertex with this non-adjacent vertex. Let's go ahead and see if we can sketch the rest of them. When we sketch the diagonals from this vertex here, we have to be a little bit careful because we will start to experience some repetition. Notice this diagonal is already sketched, so now we'll connect this vertex to this vertex, and then this vertex to this vertex. And now we'll go to this vertex here. This diagonal is already sketched, this diagonal is already sketched. We still have to sketch this diagonal here. Going to this vertex here, notice all the diagonals are already drawn. So from each vertex, we can see there are three diagonals. Now for this polygon, let's just go ahead and sketch the diagonals from one of the vertices. If we were to select this vertex here, this vertex and this vertex would be the adjacent vertices. So the diagonals would be the segments to the remaining vertices. Here, 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 and so on. Some of these are hard to see because they do overlap. But what I want to point out here is that notice that some of the diagonals pass outside the polygon, whereas in our first example, all the diagonals were inside the polygon. So these two polygons represent two different types of simple polygons. Simple polygons are either convex or concave. The diagonals of a convex polygon are always inside the polygon. However, at least one diagonal of a concave polygon will pass outside the polygon. So this would be a simple convex polygon because all the diagonals were inside the polygon as we saw on the previous screen. And this would be a simple concave polygon because we saw that some of the diagonals would pass outside the polygon. You can also think of a concave polygon as two sides caving toward the inside of the polygon. So these two short sides here cave toward the inside of the polygon 
and therefore this is a concave polygon. The last topic of this video will be regular polygons. A regular polygon is a polygon where the sides are equal length or equilateral and angles of equal measure or equiangular. And here we see four examples of regular polygons. Remember, if all of the sides are the same length, we can put the same number of hash marks on each side to indicate the sides have the same length. And we can also put a single arc through each angle to identify all of the angles are equal measure. And we could do the same on the remaining three polygons. So if I put two hash marks here, and it's a regular polygon, I'd have to put two hash marks on each side, indicating all of the sides are the same length. When it comes to the angles, I can either put the same number of arcs or make a single arc and then put the same number of hash marks in each arc. So if I put two hash marks through this arc, I'd have to put two hash marks through each of the other arcs. And we'll go ahead and stop here for this intro video. I hope you found this helpful.